Hello. So in this video, we're going to install and configure Posty. This is going to require access to your server's cPanel and then also the installation of the plugin Posty. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is go to the settings area of your admin screen and then go to writing. This is where we're going to get a random string that will be perfect for our new email address that we're going to create. So after you copy that, go to cPanel, find the mail section, and then email accounts. We're going to go ahead and create this random string into an email address and come up with a password. The reason we want this to be an, a random string is because anything post, anything sent to this email address is going to be automatically posted by Posty. So you want to make sure it's something that doesn't get random emails or personal emails, just p emails that are meant to be posted to your blog. And you want it to be an email address that only you know. So when you're on the go, you can send an email to this address and you know it's going to be safely posted and nobody else can post. So after that, we have to refill this information. Don't worry about a quota. You can keep that at 250. I would do that just in case anything happens, but it's going to delete the emails after it posts them anyway. So you don't have to worry about that filling up. Now that we have that created, go ahead and go to the configure email client. This is where we're going to get this information to configure Posty and WordPress. So let's go back to WordPress. The first thing we need to do is configure the writing section of the settings <clears throat> under the post via email. So the mail server is going to equal the um, incoming server in your cPanel. So go ahead and copy that information. It's right here. Keep this port 110. Your username is going to equal the login, login name. And then the password is whatever password you configured. Make sure it's something not that easy, but for test purposes, I'm just making that the password. So your default mail ca category is going to be the default category that any email is posted to. So just, we could make it anything. Just for a test, I'm going to make a test post. I'm going to go ahead and save these settings. Now we need to go into plugins and add new. This is where we're going to install Posty. So go ahead and search for Posty. Should be the first one that comes up. Should look a little bit like this with the author being Wayne Allen. Go ahead and install and then activate. Once it's installed, you should see a little Posty menu added to your sidebar of your admin screen. Go ahead and click that. That's going to bring us to the mail server settings. So we can go ahead and reconfigure that. We'll get the incoming server again. And leave all of this the same so we can use POP3. The port should be fine. It doesn't have to be secure in my opinion really because this is just blog posts that will be public anyways. So go ahead and add that. The mail user ID is going to be your email address you created. Make sure that those spaces at the beginning don't get included. And then enter the password that you configured. Down here is where you can configure how often Posty's going to check for an email. You can set this to whatever you want. I've had trouble. Some blogs, this works. Sometimes it doesn't. So I'm going to go ahead and select, sure, we'll do twice an hour, but we're going to test it manually before we do anything. So we'll go ahead and save this. So it should be working. So to test this, we need to send an email to this email address. I'm going to do that within WordPress. So I'm going to go ahead and go to access webmail, then use the ra a round cube mail service. So this would be the email box. Compose, go ahead and send an email. Okay. So I'm going to send this to myself. Now you can see that this is in the box. It has a subject that will be the title of your post and then the body becomes the body of your blog post. 
So now that it's in there, leave it as an unread email because that'll tell Posty, look, you need to post this. All right. So after we've saved our settings in here, I'll go ahead and do that one more time. Go to process email. This is going to run the script that would normally run twice per hour, but just for test purposes, we're going to go ahead and run it. See what happens. Invalid sender. Okay, so we need to enable one of the things that they have set up so that no one can post is no one can post, no random people can post is you have to enable under user who is allowed to post. Now, normally you would put an email address in here and configure that and say, okay, only emails from this box or this email address are going to be posted. But for test purposes, I'm going to go ahead and say anybody can post and save it just to make it easy. Now, unfortunately, I did mess up. I'm going to have to send another email to myself because it will delete that the first time because because it said, hey, this is unauthorized email. Let's just get it out of the box so it doesn't get posted. So go ahead and send it. Now it's in the box. I can process the email again. I'll just make sure that's set it. Yep. Okay, so process it. So now it's done. We can go to our website. And there it is. Automatically posted. It's ready to go. So you can get into some of the settings here and you can that's where you can really get into the beauty of Posty is you can decide the default category. It can even match categories based on different things you put in the code. You can add in your email, see, deleted that email. So one of the things I think is really cool, if I want to send, so if I want to send an email and I want to make sure that the post includes tags, all you have to do is this, you just have to say, And then just put tags. So you do tags, colon, space, the first tag, comma, second tag. You can do comma, as many as you want. Just make sure you put a space and a comma after it. And then send it. And we'll go ahead and test that as well. Just to make sure that that works. So process it. Go back to the site, refresh. All right, let's see if that worked. There we go, the tags have been added. Pretty cool. So one problem that I've had with this is that it didn't work automatically. The setting where you can check for mail every day or every whatever you want to set it, this did not work. So what I've found to use is to set up a cron job to make it run manually but automatic. So go into your home or your cPanel, go ahead and define and search cron, cron jobs will come up. So this is the screen. You may not have access to create these, okay? So you're, you may have to talk to your, your admin about getting that. You're going to, in order to set this up, you need to okay, we'll go ahead and just post this here. So this text right here needs to be added to the end of your web address. So it should look like this, HTTP, and then your web address, slash, question mark, posty, equal, get, meal, ma get hyphen mail. So just like this, if you want to go ahead and pause the screen and copy that. The, uh, in front of that, we're going to add wget space, hyphen capital n space that's all you're gonna have to add now we'll select a time for this to check so if you have this run once per minute it's going to be running this script this posty script every minute that's going to add a lot of load to your server so <clears throat> i recommend something at least at a maximum once per hour but depending on your needs just run what you have to run you know but you really have to be true to yourself about how often you're going to be posting by email where you're going to want this to check. So I'm going to add once per minute right now just to, for a test. We'll go ahead and send another email. 
get that email address. I've added a tag for fun. We'll go ahead and send that. And you can see it in your mailbox. And I'm going to just sit here and we will wait. I'll fast forward and I'll skip this section so you don't have to wait around. But the way you can test to see if it works automatically is just when this disappears, just like it did, it worked. There it is. So that was automatic on its own, this work. Now, if you're going to be running the cron job, go ahead and turn this to manual so that it doesn't be, it's not trying to do something on the server side. And then your server will be doing it automatically without the settings. So that's how you set up Posty. If you have any questions, if I didn't cover something, please let me know in the comments. I'll make another video or I can help you through private messages. I'm always happy to help, and I find that I learn better when I help people. So um, please leave any questions in the comments. I will get back to you. Also, rate and subscribe. I have a ton of videos about WordPress and a big tutorial about creating a website in general and the things you have to think about before you do that kind of stuff. So please check those out and please subscribe. Thank you very much.